Hey guys, so a few years ago I built this here, which is a laptop stand, and it was basically it was just a project for me to learn how to kind of mill and machine some angles and, you know, who doesn't want kind of a cool looking metal laptop stand. So I built this a few years ago and one of the things that I realized about it is I have Mac laptops primarily and this thing, I made it so that it sat on the desk at an angle of 25 degrees. And one of the problems was that Mac laptops, or at least the current crop of them, since whatever, 10 years ago, uh, the screens, they if, there's, if you sit it flat on the desk, the screen will bend backwards to a certain degree, which is nice, because usually you're sitting sort of above the screen. But with this, at a 25 degree angle, it made that screen bolt upright as far back as you could push it. And so I'm thinking that in a new version that I want to build that I would make it maybe a 15 or 20 degree angle, slightly less uh, angled, slightly less tilted up, uh, but still look cool. And another issue thing that I didn't really like about this was that on my angles, I thought that it would look really cool if they came to a point basically so it sits on the desk and it comes to like a, this point here and same thing sort of on the back although not really as bad and what i realized was that this is basically just a safety hazard this is like you know asking for somebody to like get cut you know there's like these sharp little bits of aluminum here just sort of sticking out and so on a new version that I want to build here today, I want to basically not uh, take this down as far. Just kind of once I've got these pieces cut, I'll just sort of level this out a little bit so that it sits nicely on the desk, but it won't be this whole long, sharp, flattened out thing. So those are a couple changes that I want to make to my original design. Otherwise, I basically want to keep it mostly the same. I kind of like the aesthetic. I like that it's very, you know, metal and, and you know, industrial looking. So something else that I'd like to do with this, not in this video, but in a future one, you can see I've actually milled out a small little pocket in this. And I've fitted a, well, this is an old version of my mood lights. So this doesn't have any Wi-Fi. This is actually just a little AT Tiny 85. And it's hooked up to some uh, LED strip here that's just sort of tucked under inside the 8020 extrusion. And I love that the aesthetic that that gave because when this was sitting on my desk and a laptop was on it and this was running underneath, it gave just, you know, a, basically an epic underglow. So at some point I will, once I finish this in a separate video, I will go through and route out a little pocket here and then put one of my mood lights in and show you guys how that all works. But for today, I just want to get basically, I might not even finish it today. I might just end this video about halfway through because in the original build, I actually just used stock brackets. But in this build, I'm actually going to make all my brackets. So I think there are, well, there's three per side uh, that are actually holding everything together. Plus these little guys at the bottom here, these are to stop the laptop from sliding off and they're just a modified one. So in total, there are eight brackets that need to be machined for this. And then of course, all the extrusion pieces. So yeah, let's get into this build. So the first thing that I want to do for this build is I want to build, I want to basically just cut out a bunch of these brackets. I need, well, I need eight total. I need six that are full actual brackets and then two kind of half brackets to hold the laptop there at the bottom. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this angle stock here, this aluminum, and I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of little sort of one inch chunks. I'm not even gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna kind of guess at what an inch is and then I'll clean it up on the mill here. And so don't worry guys, in my last video I was using a jigsaw to try to cut aluminum and you know what, I didn't feel safe, I'm sure you guys didn't really feel safe watching that 
Uh, it was a pretty bad experience, and sadly I don't have a uh, bandsaw or anything like that, so today we're going to just go with a handsaw here. It's going to be a little bit slower, but it's going to make me feel a lot less, or a lot more safe. So, yeah, we're, I'm just going to cut out a bunch of one-inch chunks, and then we'll move on from there. All right, well, now we got all eight of these brackets all cut. And I'll be honest, guys, handsaw, pretty, pretty grueling to deal with. Uh, I really look forward to the day that I get myself a bandsaw because that just took me about 15 minutes of continuous uh, cutting there. And, man, that would have been done in like 35 seconds with a bandsaw. So that is definitely top priority for the machine shop down here. Uh, so next step that we got to do here is bring these all to the same dimension. And, you know, I think maybe one or two of these are smaller than an inch, but they're all around an inch and it's not really important their exact size. Uh, if I can get them all to be, if the smallest ones are, at least an inch, which they might be slightly under. I don't know. A little bit small, but we'll see. Um, then, yeah, I cleaned them all up, and then we got to poke holes in them so that they can be used as brackets. So, yeah, let's get to that part. Well, I have uh, temporarily stopped working on these little brackets here. I thought that I could get away with using uh, a fly cutter to cut them down to size. And yeah, I know you're mostly supposed to use a fly cutter for, you know, sort of finishing operations, or at least that's kind of what it's best for. Um, and so, you know, I thought that I could get away with it, but... It was kind of scaring the hell out of me because the whole machine was, you know, vibrating and making bad sounds. And you saw it was kicking the workpiece out a little bit. And that, that kicking of the workpiece was actually, I think I could have gotten away with it with the fly cutter. But what you actually saw was the, uh, was the little, uh, this guy here, the, uh, the flat that I was using in the vise was actually getting pinched before, was getting clamped in before it was clamping these. So it was only kind of lightly holding on to the brackets. So I, yeah, now I'm going to basically clamp them in lightly with the parallel in place and then slide the parallel out and then clamp it down real hard. And I am also going to swap out and just go for a regular two two fluted uh, three quarter inch end mill. And because, you know, I don't need a nice finish on these, I'm just gonna go with the end mill and, you know, I'm gonna have to do two passes because this, you know, I can't get it in one pass, but it will hopefully at least feel a lot safer than using the fly cutter. Also, I got these off of Amazon. I think they're the Grizzly fly cutters. I can't remember honestly exactly, but I think that these are not really very sharp, so that might also be why I was having some trouble. But anyway, now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a tool swap. I'm gonna swap this guy out with this guy and kind of revamp my clamping technique here, and hopefully we'll be up and running again.
All right. Well, there we go. Now we got all eight of these all nicely trimmed up to just about exactly one inch. And uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I, you know, I had a little bit of trouble still with the vise here. And, you know, I was trying to get away with some things with the parallel and wasn't really working. But, you know, I got them all just about an inch. They're within a couple hundredths. And now the next step to make it more like one of these brackets here is I need to put holes in all of them. So I'm going to set up the, uh, the vise here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align the very tip of the uh, cutting blade of, well, I'm going to stick in a drill bit, but I'm going to align the very tip of the drill bit with the edge of the vise. I'm going to have it closed. And then I'm going to just, because I know that these are all, well, these are all an inch. I'm just going to move the table half an inch so that when I actually clamp one of these guys in there, the uh, drill bit will be dead center. It doesn't have to be exact, exact, but it'll be like, you know, within a couple hundredths. This is not, this is a laptop stand. This isn't something crazy. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'll just come in, I don't know, probably about a third or a quarter inch or something. Try to kind of make it look like the, the actual bracket here. Maybe, I guess, about half an inch. Um, kind of center it on here. But I don't want to center it on the entire length. I want to center it sort of ignoring that bit that we have on the vertical there. So it'll be centered to within, you know, whatever, seven-eighths of an inch, roughly center there. Um, but again, I'm not going to measure these. They're just going to be sort of free freehand eyeballed. So yeah, that's the next step, and so let's get into it. All right, well, there we go. We got six of these that have got two holes in them. And then the other two, I only put one hole in them because they're what are going to end up being the little brackets on the end of the uh, laptop stand that stop it, that stop the laptop from moving. So they're gonna end up being these little guys here. So yeah, they were brackets that I just had before that I just sort of cut down to size. And on these, I just didn't even bother putting a hole in it because, well, there's no need for a hole. So yeah, I got six of the actual brackets and then two that are just sort of gonna be used for holding the uh, laptop in place. So yeah, you know, I think that's all that I'm going to do for this video. Uh, the next video, I'll be cutting up the actual frame parts and putting it together. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.